In this video, I am going to explain how to solve quadratic equation in Cassier FX 82 ES Plus calculator. As you know, it is a basic calculator and you don't have a quadratic equation solver, so it is a trick for your calculator. I am taking a very simple example like x squared minus 5x plus 6. And as you may be knowing, uh, when you want to solve a quadratic equation, it must, if it has real root, it must intersect x certain point. And if this is the graph of this equation, it is intersecting at these two points, these two coordinates, and we have to find out these two values. So what we'll do, because we don't have a equation solver in 82 ES plus, we'll use uh, something called table. Let us change mode and go to table and we'll draw table of this function, I would say, right? So x square minus 5x plus 6. So let's type in this x square plus 5x Plus six okay and hit equals to now uh, what basically table does it creates value of this function for various given x let's say I would like to start from negative 5 till 5 only okay so we would like to see and the step size is 1 is okay so we can start with 1 and basically we'll try to trace this function and figure out where the value of this function is 0 the so negative 5 is 6 negative 4 is 2 See, it is reducing so definitely it's gonna either cut x-axis or it will go towards x-axis right negative 3 is 0 right so basically that is your first root and nothing this is nothing but your negative 3 and y is 0 right so that is your first root let's keep going down negative 2 is again 0 so your other root would be negative 2 but basically it says uh, basically this graph would have been like this so this is negative 3 and this is negative 2 this is how you can you know and then it keeps increasing so it's now going away from x axis and because it is a 2d equation you will have only two roots okay let's some uh, other equation okay. for example i would take uh, 5x square uh, minus 5x minus uh, let's take it like 13 equals to 0 let's try to solve this equation so what i am going to do i'll again go to mode go to the table and type in my function so 5x square minus 5x minus 13 okay equals to 0 and again let's start from negative 5 and positive 5 okay step size 1 is okay so you can see negative 5 is 137 negative 4 is 87 in a way basically what is happening this graph is decreasing somewhere so definitely either it will going to intersect x-axis or it will remain above let's see what happens negative 3 is 47 negative 2 17 negative 1 is negative 3 so when it is negative 1 somewhere here it is negative 3 right it is here that means it has already intersected somewhere here right now we need to find out the value so what we are going to do now we'll change the step size we know the answer is definitely between negative 2 and negative 1 so let's go back okay and let's start from negative 3 we'll end at negative 2 and our step size would be 0 0.1 okay the negative 3 47 negative 2.9 43 negative 2.8 40 so on 2.3 24 negative 2 is 17 
Okay. Uh, okay, so it's, it's further from negative 2, right? Let's do once again. So we'll do it from negative 2 to negative 1, okay? Negative 2 to negative 1. And we'll take step sizes. So negative 2 is 17. Negative 1.8, negative 1.6. Negative 1.2 is 0 0.2 and negative 1.1 is negative 1.45. Again, we'll have to figure out between negative 1.2 to negative 1.1 to get the precise value. Let's do it once again. Okay. So what I'm going to do now this time I'll start from negative 1.2 to negative 1.1. Okay. And our step size would be 0 0.01 this time. Okay. Let's see how is the progression and we would like to reach as close as possible so now it is between negative 1.19 and negative 1.18 so basically we can say our answer is nothing but negative 1.185 or so and that is quite accurate right so that is one answer similarly you can find out the second root if it exists this is the only way you can solve a quadratic equation in ADWS plus hope you like the video please do share your comments and subscribe to our channel thank you very much